I've just harvested these castings and now I need to get the cocoons out of the castings and all the little worms that escape into these castings. But how do I do that? Hi, I'm White Davy. Welcome to White Davy Garden and Worm Farm. In today's video, we are going to be discussing how you can extract your worms and your cocoons from this bin and when I say your cocoons I don't mean that you're going to be taking out the actual cocoons but you're going to allow your cocoons to watch so let's get into the video so in this container here I have my African night crawler castings that I harvested about a month to six weeks ago I'm not sure of the exact date but it is within that range now after harvesting this I created a bait cup this is my bait cup old and macheted as it is so I have holes in the bottom and in the side the top I leave open I do not cover it you can cover it sometimes I do so what I'm going to do with this is I had some shredded paper shredded cardboard and then I create a spot for it the middle is a good place because then it is easier from worm for the worms to come from all the various locations in order to get to the content of what's in that cup now I'm going to put a piece of banana peel and a piece of lettuce in here and cover it over with some more shredded paper and cardboard and now this portion that I harvested I have already extracted the hatchlings from it so I like to allow six weeks for the cocoons to hatch and enough time for those cocoons to make it over to the bin so that I can get them from the castings so this portion has been harvested already or at least the cocoons or the hatchlings have been extracted already so the next portion that I have just harvested which is this so within a month to six weeks this is what my African nightcrawler one of my African nightcrawler bin produced so this content I am going to be putting it over in here so that whatever cocoons may remain in here or whatever hatchlings may remain in here along with the new ones in here they will be extracted in this container so i'm going to allow this to stay for six weeks now one of the things that i like to do is allow three weeks because in three weeks a lot of the cocoons would have hatched and would have made their way the way over to the bin after which you can extract whatever is in here and repeat the process of putting the bait cup back in and keep doing that for six weeks and then you can use your castings without worrying about losing all that cocoons and all those hatchlings now I find that my African night crawlers they are rather ferocious eaters so now let's get this content over into the bin so this is what remains of my of my worm bin and everything you see in here with the exception of this region here where the bait cup was emptied everything that you see here is castings and African night crawlers I wasn't able to harvest the rest of this castings because the content is just too wet so what I am going to be doing is I'm going to take my large sifter and I'm going to put it on top of my African night crawler bin that is empty and then I am going to spread it out in thin layers as the worms try to escape the light they're going to be falling through the holes in the sifter down into the worm bin leaving the castings behind 
and then that castings I'm going to be baiting out the cocoons and the hatchlings from it as well on this channel I have a lot of practical information that you can use if you are new to worm farming or if you have been worm farming for a while but you're looking for additional information on running your worm farm and so and in addition to that I am on Facebook as well and I also offer training courses in worm farming so if you are interested in getting information on worm farming whatever aspect of worm farming then you can join my email list by contacting me I will leave my contact information in the description below so if you enjoy this video and you'd like to see more updates on what's going on with these African night crawlers or if you simply want to learn more about worm farming please take a moment to give me a thumbs up you can leave a comment in the section below if you're new to my channel please subscribe and turn on your notification for more updates like these thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day yeah man a time for grow